Welcome to list week 22B. Please set up your paper like this with your name and date in the upper right hand corner. This week's list has 17 words. We're going to focus on the rule this week that says that if a word ends in a single Y, you change that Y back to I when adding an ending unless the ending or suffix starts with an I. So the first word is cries. Tears run down her face when she cries. It's one syllable. We think to spell k -r i If we were just spelling cry, this would be a Y because English words do not end in I. But because we're using the present tense conjugation, we can change this back to an I. And the plural rule says that we add an ES if the word changes. So because cry would change, we would change this to an I. We add ES for the plural, cries. Spell out loud with me, and then you may write the word and mark it in your notebook. Cries. C-R-I-E-S. Cries. Number two. Countries. A dual citizen lives in two countries. Two syllables think to spell k a n t r i. This would be an y, but because we're going to add a suffix, we drop it for an i and we add es. Spell countries out loud with me. C O U N T R I E S. Countries. As always, please write and mark in your notebook after we spell out loud. Number three. Families. Similar species belong to the same family. or similar species belong in the same families. Family is three syllables, so we're going to think to spell f a m i u i. This would be a y. We change it back to an i and add es. Spell families out loud with me. F A M I L I E S. Families. Number four. Stories. Children like to hear bedtime stories. Two syllables think to spell st or i. This is a Y. We're going to change it to an I and add ES. Spell out loud with me. Stories. S-T-O-R-I-E-S. Stories. 
Number five, tried. She tried to finish on time and almost did. Tried. Now we're moving to the past tense ending ed. So tried, one syllable, think to spell t, er, i. We're going to change that, we're adding an ed, so we can change that y back to an i and add the past tense ending ed. Spell tried out loud. T R I E D. Tried. Number six. Hurried. I hurried and ran to catch the bus. First, we think to spell hurry, two syllables. H er, as in church. Er, i. Eh. This is an Y. We're going to change it to an I and add the past tense ending ED. Er, er, ed. In this word, we hear the R twice for spelling, but in normal speech, we would only hear it once. Hurried. Spell out loud with me. Hurried. H U R R I E D. Hurried. Number seven. Carried. The mule carried the load up the mountain. Carried. Two syllables think to spell carry. A, er, er, e, carry. Drop, change the y to an i and add ed. In this case, the a and the r are acting as two separate sounds, not as the r as in car. We hear the r twice for spelling, but only once in normal speech. Carried. Please spell out loud with me. C A R R I E D. Carried. Number eight. Studied. She studied her math book for the test. Studied. Two syllables think to spell study. St a uh, d e change the y to an i and add ed spell out loud with me studied s t u d i e d studied number 9 prettier so now we're moving into some different suffixes. This lovely rose is prettier than any other. The er suffix will add another syllable to our word. So we think to spell pretty, p, er, e, t, t, e. We take the y and change it to an i because it's not the end of the word yet. And the third syllable is er, as in her.
again, we hear two T's for spelling, but in normal speech we would only hear one T sound. Prettier. Please spell out loud with me. P-R-E-T-T-I-E-R. -E -E Prettier. Number 10. Earlier. I arrived earlier rather than later. Again, we're adding the ER suffix, which adds another syllable. We think to spell early. Er as an early. Excuse me. Er as an early. L I. We can still use an I because we're not at the end of our word yet. Third syllable, er as in her. Please spell earlier out loud. E A R L I E R, earlier. Number 11, easiest. That was the easiest and simplest task ever. We're adding the EST suffix in this word, which also adds another syllable. So we're going to think to spell E, Z, I, E, S. Remember, we can use the I there because we're not at the end of the word. Easiest. Please spell out loud with me. E-A-S-I-E-S-T. Easiest. Number 12. Luckily. Luckily, I received the important phone call. Luckily. This time we're adding a two-syllable suffix, I-L-Y, I-L-Y. The first syllable is the accented syllable, or the one that's emphasized, L-U-K. Then we have two unaccented syllables, I-L-Y. This I is the end of the word, so we have to substitute for a Y. Spell out loud with me. Luckily. L U C K I L Y. Luckily. Number 13. Happiness. The joyful girl smiled with happiness. This suffix is N E S S and it does add a s another syllable. Three syllables think to spell a p p i n s. Remember, we often double f, l, and s after a single short vowel. Um, so this suffix uses that floss rule. Happiness. Please spell it loud with me. H A P P I N E S S. Happiness. Number 14. Business. I mind my own business and do not gossip. We say business, we think to spell business. Three syllables think to spell B, uh, Z, I, N, S.
And actually the U in this word really sounds like it's saying an I, so we're going to put an exception over that. Business. Spell out loud with me. B U S I N E S S. Business. Number 15. Beautiful. I mind my I find it beautiful, but he thinks it's ugly. One second. Let me just make sure we're sounding this out well. We're going to think to spell this word in four syllables. B, E, U, T, I, F, U, U. Beautiful. Remember that all and full are written with only one L when they're added to another syllable. Spell out loud with me. Be beautiful. B e a u t i f u l. We think to spell in all four syllables, but in normal speech we only say three. Beautiful. Number sixteen and seventeen are homophones. Pain and pain. The first pain is in ouch discomfort. I am suffering from a pain in my tooth. One syllable, think to spell p a n. Spell out loud with me. Pain is in a hurt. P a i n. Pain. Number seventeen is the sheet of glass in a window or door, like the window pane. Rain falls against the glass window pane. Still one syllable. Think to spell p a n. This time we're going to use the silent e to make the a say a. Spell out loud with me. Pain as in a window pane. P a n e. Pain. That wraps up week 22b. See you next time. Oop, this is the last time. Great job.